It's an out of this world journey, seven years and four billion miles in the making. The FRC has entered the Earth's atmosphere. Tonight, NASA's first ever sample from an asteroid has touched down on Earth. Touchdown. The space capsule carrying the precious sample entering the atmosphere Sunday morning, traveling at more than 27,000 miles an hour, reaching temperatures of more than 5,000 degrees. At this point, we've entered in over San Francisco. Eventually landing in the Utah desert. Seeing it just sitting perfectly on the desert floor, hard to articulate what that means after so, so much uh, put into this mission. Inside the capsule, a half pound sample of rocks and dust collected from an asteroid called Bennu, which scientists say could one day crash into Earth. It also may hold important clues to the origins of our solar system. So why this asteroid? What's so special about this one? We think of asteroids as pristine time capsules from the very, very early formation of our solar system. We hope to learn more about the building block material that made our own planet billions of years ago. Liftoff of OSIRIS-REx. The mission began in 2016, the spacecraft traveling years to reach the asteroid 200 million miles away from Earth. It was a challenging feat to do. The asteroid surface is kind of like a rubble pile, which we didn't expect. It's kind of like if you were to stand on a children's ball pit, you would fall right into that ball pit. Despite challenges, success. Finally back on Earth, today's scientists retrieving the charred capsule, anxiously waiting to unlock the secrets held inside. And Liz joins us now. Liz, this is so cool. Getting these samples to Earth was just for the first part, though, of this mission, right? Yeah, Kate, that's right. The sample will be sent to the NASA Johnson Space Center for examination. As for the spacecraft, after it dropped the capsule off, it turned around and went back out for another mission to a new asteroid. Kate? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.